Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones. Here we are, episode 5 of season 8, The Bells. Um, well, we found out that um, I am 1000% sure that... Um, what's her name? Daenerys is going to go quite crazy. And um, if, if it's going another way, well and good. But I definitely don't have hope for her to keep calm and with the way that things are trying to go against her character where she is becoming mad essentially um i think it's almost like making that character uh, come true and i by that i mean like her advisors are doubting and you know she's losing a lot of her trusted um, friends slash uh, her counsel so all the people that she knows she trusts at least that i could think of from after they won um the battle of the the great war um you could see her where they were zooming in this noise was going silent in the that uh, dinner room uh, in winterfell where you see that john is with his crowd then Tyrion is with his crowd and only varus was left and now that varus is spoken very clearly about how he feels that John is the much better candidate for the Iron Throne. In terms of the people left to advise her, I mean, she can only trust in that regard Grey Worm because he undoubtedly will do anything for Daenerys after losing Missandei. So I think these two only will stick together. And, you know, we did see in Bran's vision that a dragon does go over uh, King's Landing. So now that Cersei has opened the gates to the Red Keep and allowed everyone to come in, and assuming that Bran's vision does come true because, well, they have been quite persistent in bringing that uh, story up. I just, that's what is making me believe that she is definitely going to bring her dragon, the Unsullied, somehow, I'm not sure how, um, to the Red Keep. But because, you know, I'm trying to see how she can bring in Drogon only because we saw the amount of Scorpion uh, weapons that were lined up at the entrance. So, um, I mean, if she could dodge Euron's fleet of weaponry, I'm pretty sure, even though she had the aerial view to see everything and yet Rhaegal died which I still think is su such bullshit um, but I just think that we have to find a way that you can have this scorpion weapon removed but yeah I don't have hopes in that regard for Daenerys keeping cool because we saw her face in the end and that's what's also giving it off and um, yes so let's see what happens in this episode I mean two more episodes to go so I'm not really sure how it works but the bells what does that mean um let's find out and the aftermath of Miss Sunday is going to be very hard so let's 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 go ahead and see what happens in this episode I'm not really looking forward to it I'm not gonna lie but here we go oh my god the true heir to the Iron Throne. Oh my god, Paris. Who is he sending this to? He won eight. We'll try again, Sutton. Who's this girl? I think they're watching me. Oh, I'm in this little bird. Her soldiers. Is he sending his, sending this to the lords and, you know, the... the what have I told you, Martha? Westeros people. The greater the risk, the greater the reward. Go on. He'll be missing you in the kitchen. Wasn't he, wasn't this girl in Winterfell when they were waiting for the attack to end? How is she? She hasn't seen anyone since we returned. Hasn't left her chambers. Hasn't accepted any food. She shouldn't be alone. You're worried for her. I admire your empathy. Aren't you worried for her? I'm worried for all of us. 
They say every time a Targaryen is born, the gods toss a coin and the world holds its breath. Great. Not much for riddles where I'm from. We both know what she's about to do. Please tell me there is something else. That's her decision to make. She is our queen. Men decide where power resides, whether or not they know it. What do you want? All I've ever wanted. The right ruler on the Iron Throne. I don't want it. I never have. I have known more kings and queens than any man living. I've heard what they say to crowds and seen what they do in the shadows. You will rule wisely and well while she... She is my queen. Tyrion knows that this is now spreading and more people are finding out. Oh God, Daenerys, I hate what they've done to you. I seriously do. There's something you need to know. Someone has betrayed me. Fuck. Jon Snow. Daenerys. He knows the truth about Jon. He does? Because you told him. You learned from Sansa. And she learned from Jon. Though I begged him not to tell her. As I said. He betrayed me. I'm glad Sansa told me. I am your hand. I need to be aware of any threats you're facing. You spoke to him first. Without coming to me. Without asking my permission. It was a mistake. Why do you think Sansa told you? She trusts me. Yes. She trusts you. She trusted you to spread secrets that could destroy your own queen. And you did not let her down. If I have failed you, my queen, forgive me. Our intentions were good. We wanted what you want, a better world, all of us. Varys as much as anyone, but it doesn't matter now. Doesn't matter now. I mean, I don't know what's right and wrong right now. Oh, I hope I deserve this. Truly, I do. I hope I'm wrong. Goodbye, old friend. Lord Varys, I, Daenerys of House Targaryen, first of my name, breaker of chains and mother of dragons, sentence you to die. Tracharis. <laughs> Right now. This was all she brought with her when we crossed the narrow sea. Her only possession. <sighs> what did I say would happen if you told your sister? I don't want it, and that's what I told oh my you. God! John, get, wake she up! Your trust. She killed Varys as much as I did. What? 
this is a victory for her. Far more people in Westeros love you than love me. I don't have love here. I only have fear. I love you. And you will always be my queen. Is that all I am to you? It's almost hard to watch now. Innocents, like the ones you liberated in Marine. In Marine, the slaves turned on the masters and liberated the city themselves the moment I arrived. Anyone who resists Cersei will see his family butchered. They're hostages. They are. In a tyrant's grip. Whose fault is that? Mine. What does it matter whose fault it is? Thousands of children will die if the city burns. Your sister knows how to use her enemies' weaknesses against them. That's what she thinks our mercy is. Weakness. I beg you, my queen. She's wrong. Mercy is our strength. Our mercy towards future generations. He will never again be held hostage by a tyrant. But it looks like it's happening that way, Daenerys. Oh. Ready the unsullied. What? Tonight you sail for King's Landing to join the Northern armies. Cersei's followers will abandon her if they know the war is lost. Give them that chance. If the city surrenders, they will ring the bells and raise the gates. Please, if you hear them ringing the bells, call off the attack. Oh, the same bells that they used to use for death and all that? Wait for me outside the city. You'll know when it's time. Your brother was stopped trying to get past our lines. It seems he hasn't abandoned your sister after all. The next time you fail me. Be the last time you fail. I'm so... The rear guard should be here by daybreak. She wants to attack now. Daybreak at the earliest. The greatest smuggler alive, aren't you? I'm not going to like this favor, am I? I'm Arya Stark. I'm going to kill Queen Cersei. Move out of the way. Think about it. She kills Cersei. The war's over. There won't be a siege. I might not even die tomorrow. Doesn't that sound like... I need to go talk to my captain. Are you serious? Nikki Mozon, Prada gone by Tanaralio. The fuck? Nikki Jalio, Prada gone by Tanaralio. <laughs> Make me laugh. <laughs> Nikki Jaelo Onegon Bartana. We speak the common tongue. Thank God. I want to be alone with the prisoner. Get some rest. Tomorrow will be a long day. We have orders to guard the prisoner. Ordered by whom? The Queen herself? No. Well, in that case, as hand of the Queen, I outrank whomever gave your order. Probably by quite a lot. How did they find you? And how are you in this position for the second time? Of course. Cersei once called me the stupidest Lannister. You're going back to her, to die with her. You've underestimated her before. She's going to die. Unless you can convince her to change her course of action. Difficult to do from here. If not for yourself, if not for her, then for every one of the million people in that city, innocent or otherwise. To be honest, I never really cared much for them. Innocent or otherwise. Do you care for one innocent? She has a reason now. The child is the reason she'll never give an inch. All the worst things she's ever done, she's done for her children. It's not impossible that she'll win. She won't. Two of the three dragons are dead. She's even the old. The city will fall tomorrow. She has the Lannister army. She has the gold. I company. defended the city last time it was attacked. I know it better than anyone. It will fall tomorrow. Well, I suppose I'll die tomorrow, if not before. Why? Escape. The two of you together. Keep following the stairways down, down as far as they'll go. You'll come out onto a beach at the foot of the keep. 
a dinghy will be waiting for you. Sail out of the bay. If the winds are kind, you'll make it to Pentos. Start a new life. Sail right past the Iron Fleet and enter a new life. Sounds a lot less likely than Cersei winning this war. There won't be an Iron Fleet for much longer. Do it. If you don't, you'll never see Cersei again. If it works, give the order to ring all the bells in King's Landing and open the gates. Mm. That will be our signal that the city has surrendered. I'll try. I never thought I'd get to repay the favor. Your queen will execute you for the If Daenerys can make it to the throne without wading through a river of blood, maybe she'll show mercy to the person who made that possible. Tens of thousands of innocent lives, one not particularly innocent dwarf. Seems like a fair trade. If it weren't for you, I never would have survived my childhood. You would have. You were the only one who didn't treat me like a monster. You were all I had. Of this image because of how it started. <gasps> Go, Jimmy. Their armor is really like very samurai Japanese stuff. Look at that skulls on top of skulls. She said, wait for me, you'll know when it's time. So I'm sure they're all lined up for, for waiting for her. Well, what is the signal? If you hear the bells ring, they've surrendered. Call off your men. Yeah. She is. Oh my god! Holy! Uh, dodge that! He has burned the fleet. Just the bad guys, Daenerys. Please, please, oh please. Oh, miss it. Good, good, good. Burn it. Oh, yes, kill this idiot first. Fire! Oh, dodge that.
Why is it so quiet here though? Oh, they are on the other side. Oh. Oh my God! How did this work? How did what? Oh my God! Not the horse. Well, oh, that's the sign. Okay. Oh god. Oh my god. They don't even know how to defend this. Oh god, Anakin. Yes, get rid of all the scorpions. She had to take a detour from through the red keep area. So see. So see. Just oh god. But that's insane that she single-handedly with Drogon just got rid of everyone. All we need is one good shot. The scorpions have all been destroyed, your great. The Iron Fleet hold Blackwater Bay. Your run killed one of her dragons. We can get another. Your Grace, the Iron Fleet is burning. The gates have been breached. The, the Cold and Company. Our men will fight harder than Sellswords ever could. You are yes, in sir. denial. Oh, the God, look at that. Fallen. It won't fall today. <laughs> Yes, Davos, okay. I'm seeing you for, for the first time with a sword, actually. Whoa, what is happening? Oh god, someone ring the damn bell. Cersei, please, please. You, you have honestly lost. Great job being in the... No, no! That's it. They've surrendered. That's it. That's it. Finished. You're done. Good. Forget it. Not worth it. That's it. Ring the bell, please. It's too quiet. Go, Jamie. Oh, my God. You have won. That's it. That's it. Saucy, wake up. You are done. That's it. That's it. That's it. Enough. Calm down. Daenerys, you have got it. You have got the throne. Daenerys. Daenerys. Da Daenerys. Daenerys.
We need to get the queen out of King's Standing. Listen, that's the sound of a city dying. It's over. I'll make it for you. Did you kill another king before you die? They'll sing about you forever. You're no king. Oh, but I am. And I fought for the queen. This guy is such the worst I character will. ever. I'll bring your head to Cersei so you can kiss her. One last time. <laughs> is the safest place in the city. The Unsullied have breached the gates of the Red Keep. Make us home first. Would be a better place to wait out the storm. Maybe 
start dragging Rolita, and you'll be dead too if you don't get out of here. I'm going to kill her. You think you wanted revenge a long time? I've been after it all my life. It's all I care about. And look at me. Look at me! You come with me. You die here. Sando. Thank you. Mountain. Mr. Wiggle, stay by my side. What does that mean? Sir Gregor, I command you. Obey your queen, Sir Gregor.
You can't stay here. You have to keep moving. We can't go out there. You have to. Everyone out there is dead. If you stay here, you'll die. <laughs> I want our baby to live. I want our baby to live. I want our baby to live. Don't let me die, Jake. Please don't let me die. Please don't let me die. I don't want to die. Look at me. Nothing else matters. I really, I expected her to be really mad, but not after like having these bells rung and people surrendering and... Oh God. See, see, they really made her, I can really tell like her character is getting very, very bad. Like they are forcing her to be like this so many people have lost so much more than what she has done and yes she's also lost a fair share but no one has gone this berserk to prove a point of i'm sorry i'm lost for work because i hate the fact that this is happening <laughs> quite literally they've butchered her character and it's horrible <laughs> I can't believe that Cersei and Jamie died in the Red Keep. I just... I, how convenient. How convenient that that stupid area gets completely rocked up. It's like almost everything in that area was all fine by accepting that area where they could go out. I'm sorry, but that was, that's, this is some, 
bullshit. I seriously thought that Arya was was going to kill Cersei. I thought that I was heading that direction. And it would happen after Daenerys heard the bells. She was like, stand down. I knew that she will go mad, but not after the bells. Like, at least I understood what they'd said after, like, you know, once they ring the bells, they have surrendered. That's it. She won. She won. And she still, I, you know, that's the thing. I can't justify this by saying that she, she lost people. No, they had, these innocent people had no part in their, in her war. They died in a, and she will say that, you know, she, Cersei is like, she, she said that mercy is strength and, you know, she is using this to taunt me or to get to me or she knows how to play me. Yes, she did. She actually did. That's why she brought them to the Red Keep. But you won. And she knew she lost. I was so happy when she burnt the scorpions. I, you know, of course, it meant killing the armies and whatnot. But she didn't kill the innocent people. And the, the Iron Fleet, she literally won. And even Cersei knew that. And I thought by then that uh, the Hound and... Uh, Arya would make their way to the Red Keep and my my theory was that she Arya would kill Kyburn and somehow use that face to kill Cersei. At least that's what I seriously thought would happen. But for me, so I can't believe that Cersei was still in denial even after the rocks were like literally the Red Keep is crumbling and she still was in denial that she's saying that the red keep is the safest place I, I, in all in all i think they butchered both their characters i'm not gonna lie cersei and daenerys i just feel like it was terrible and as if they had a staring competition from all the way from the end until the red keep she could see cersei's face and that that triggered her to cross I never thought that that her going, you know, her the the dragon's shadow on the buildings is her on her way burning innocent people. I seriously thought that she was on her way, possibly to the red key because now that she's won, and that's what I thought would happen even after the bell ringing. And she is. Cersei's done her fair share, yes, and she's done exactly the same thing, I'm not gonna lie, but, you know, Daenerys, I never expected her to, to do something to this extent, and what Varys said was right. She got her, her emotions got the better of her, and... I don't know what she's trying to do. I mean, Davos and John knew that this is exactly the opposite, and she is losing control, and she lost control altogether. And she became her father. She burnt them all. I don't. I, I think they prove they've proven their point that Daenerys should never win. Like. It's like all of that season of her being the exact opposite to just the this episode, couple of episodes. It's actually, since the start of season eight, it's almost like, you know, they want her to be like the person who she fears and, you know, that where she thinks she can just walk in and just gain people's trust, which from that perspective, I was just like, you need to earn their trust. And I thought that the, the long night would be her factor of where people would understand that she came to help in a way where she's you know she lost her dragon to get that evidence and all whatever the storyline was but in the end I didn't actually expect her I don't know if this is not just her losing um Jora Nisande um 
um, her two dragons and also the fact that John is the heir to the Iron Throne and knowing that Varys has possibly sent a couple of those um, notes people will go and I, I don't know what she's going to do I'm pretty uh, by this time I'm just like she's going to burn them that's it there's no no other storyline like that this is exactly what I didn't want her to use like want her dragons for like this is what I feared and it happened I didn't want her to use her dragons to get to something but and to prove a point to me this is her her emotions have completely clouded her judgment and she has become absolutely shit mad and she could not distinguish between the lives of you know for Cersei to be the one to get to her she had to go through so many people tens of thousands no that's not right I, I uh, the, my thing is that I just cannot believe that her character has been written like this because it's it's almost like as if uh, you know they just they just want her to be the craziest one so that every opposing leader in Westeros can choose John in the end. You know, as I keep saying, John is the rightful heir to the throne. He should be on the throne and he should marry Daenerys, but. You know, ever since they bombarded her with that, like she, they just, she just dropped that, uh, that fact. And then she started going crazy, diverting from plans, wanting to march to West uh, to Dragonstone, then heading to King's Landing. And now this, uh, to be very frank, I have like, you know, literally I've written three lines and that to the third line is, that's it. I didn't even finish it. I first said the Northern Army are um, heading to King's Landing and should be at the entrance in two days. And I just said Lord Varys burnt. And then I the third point was Jamie and I don't even remember that. But yeah, um not gonna lie, I am I am completely I'm completely all for like a good hour and twenty minutes of like proper fun but this was not fun this was i i did not enjoy it i just uh, the only thing possibly i could take from is the hound and um the mountains fight like that's the only thing that i understand why they did that bit and why they died like that bit i completely understand and then my god the way he killed kyburn seriously i blew my mind quite literally he did um but that really got me uh, i mean she has completely destroyed the city what will be there to rule over she doesn't like she'll have to rebuild everything who is going to follow her now she said she was the leader of people people will follow her in fear now and all about like, you know, talks of her falling in love, like, you know, people falling in love with her. And that's what the, I know she accepted saying that, fine, let it be fear. And I don't know. I don't know. I can't believe Cersei and Jamie, to me, what seems like are dead because of, because of rocks and um, because they couldn't find a way to get out. If only they had the mountain to shield them because the way he shielded the uh, Cersei when the roof was falling, holy Lord. And the mountain was not dying, my God. And Arya surviving that Arya and like, the way she started to, it almost looked like as if she, it was John riding the horse. I don't understand the horse bit, but it was almost like as if John was riding the horse. <sighs> yeah, um, so all in all, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It didn't, I, I, I don't like this episode. Um, only because I am a big fan of Daenerys. I really, truly enjoyed her character up, but I just think that they have just, completely ruined it by making her choose this path which 
she could have easily avoided because to me she had won and I don't think that the armies would have done anything except follow Daenerys she would have in fact had more people to follow her people would have seen that you know that they she spared them and yeah I, I don't know what her thing is yes it's her mad genes kicking in but I just think that that is an unfair character arc for her to be put into because her father was mad so she should also be mad I don't like that bit like she was different she had that full and as I said the events leading up to it has of course made her do this it can't be just like that but it's just that I feel like everything happened so quickly that it was so rushed and for her to just go so ballistic it only means that she wasn't exactly impressed with what's been happening in her life and I don't know but yeah anyhow I'll see you in the finale I can't believe I'm almost done and I will uh, I will see what the end is it's the Iron Throne I'm actually more curious to see what the what the intro is now um, how it will be will it all be like in crumbles that I think that's this is the intro some for, shockingly is the one thing that excites me before I start the episode so um, yeah Iron Throne let's go uh, sorry I, I'm not enthusiastic because I just feel like this was um, not up to what I I wanted it to be in a way, so I'm just a bit disappointed in that regard. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and um, see you in the finale. Bye.